Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to my shop. So today's video, we got a fairly simple project. We're gonna make a set of uh, parallels from our shaper vise. So uh, let me grab the camera and let's get to it. Over here at my toolbox, I know the lighting isn't the greatest, but uh, hopefully we can make do so you can see all my different sizes of parallels. So this one here, the height is uh, two and a quarter. And the width is like seven eighths. And then I've got these here, nice set. So these are two inch, but they're like uh, one and an eighth inch wide. So I don't have any really thin parallels that are tall. So that's what this project's about. So you're looking at is uh, some A2 tool steel that I scored. And what I like about it is 3 16 inch thick so nice thin set of parallels we're gonna make now my surface grinder is only a 6 by 12 and these are pretty long so that's 13 and a half where it's cut out this one's 14 and a half so what I think I'm gonna do we'll take them over to the bandsaw cut them down to just a smidgen over 11 inches and that gives me an extra half inch of travel on each side to make sure we clean these up. And then, of course, we'll just mill them. So uh, get rid of that saw edge, get it nice and square. <clears throat> and then we'll have to take it over to surface grinder because this one, as you can see, this one's two inches and eight thou. And this piece here is two inches and 17 thou tall. I'm measuring it with the mic. So, uh, you know, we need to get them down to exact size because it doesn't do any good to have parallels in our parallel, right? <laughs> so, fairly easy project, but I figure what the heck, we'll film it, get it knocked out. So let me uh, get over to the bandsaw and we'll get these cut down to a rough dimension. Just going to cut them by hand over here on my 1943 do-all bandsaw. Hopefully this blade's going to like this A2. It won't be too bad. Got a, a half inch four flute carbide cutter and I already got it zeroed. This is the high end, just kind of kissing it and cleaning it up. And we'll get her down to uh, basically the dimension that ends up working for both of them. take a measurement and then deadly tool right trick you lay your caliper here on your vise so you're not fighting it and you know you're parallel so thank you Robert for that one and well we are I don't know if you guys can see that on the dial one, two, we are three thou large over 11 inches. So let me uh, take three thou off and this one will be done and I'll knock the other one out off camera. All right, let me uh, show you the setup here over at the surface grinder. So got it uh, locked down the best I can. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. And I've got magnetic transfer blocks here, here, got it clamped in. You know, you got the magnetism coming from the chuck. I've got a half inch high speed steel stop here, so hopefully it won't go anywhere. I think we're good to go. I've already dressed the wheel. 
Um, nice thing is these two inch magnetic transfer blocks are only actually one inch and 985 thou. So when we take this down to two inches even, we won't be running into the blocks. So that's a good thing. And I've got a little bit of room here to be able to measure. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. I picked up one of these little surface plates from Tom Lipton a while back. And it works perfect. We can get it right here. <clears throat> and I can take my uh, depth gauge and we can measure off of this. So I don't want to remove it and then measure it and ruin the setup or you know lift the magnetism up so you can use a you know another measuring device that would be magnetic so it'd stick to it so that works perfect and i picked up this uh mic stand so that's the best thing i can come up with try to get you some shots here because i mean there is <laughs> nothing to grab onto on the surface grinder i mean as you see there's you know, like no ledges I mean you got aluminum you got aluminum so there's nothing to mag down to for the GoPro I mean it's just it's just horrible there's no uh, good place to get you any uh, action shot so we're gonna try this see how it goes I'm gonna put you in this case just to protect from the uh, dust and we'll get a little bit of grinding in oh yeah disclaimer now I'm not a grinder we did not have a grinder in a college machine shop class, so everything I've learned has been off of YouTube, the internet. Um, and of course, I got pointers from Stan, DJ, and Steve Barton. So I'm going to give it a whirl, and uh, we'll see how we do. Also, I'm going to do it dry. We don't have that much surface area, and by the time we get to our measurements, I don't think we're going to get really any heat, in the, heat into the part. So I'm just going to uh, grinder dry. Now, the one on the front is a taller one that measures 17 thou over 2 inches. This back one's only, uh, what, 8? So we're not even going to touch right now. Come down another thou. All right, I'm just starting to uh, touch that back parallel now, so we'll be hitting both of them. Let's go ahead and take a measurement. I mean, they're both at the same dimension now. So we don't necessarily have to have two inches on the nose, but it'd be nice just to have a good nominal number here. Let's see what we can get to. See if I can hold this. All right, now this block is one inch and ten thousandths so we subtract that to get two inches on the nose here then obviously we need what point nine nine oh on this let me put my readers on and we'll see where we're at looks like we got two thousand to go so i'm gonna dial in one and i'll dial in half and a half
Okay, just finished the last pass. We're there, so let me break this down, get it cleaned up. You guys will meet me over at the bench. Well, there you go. One set of uh, matched parallels. It should work out uh, really nice on my shaper vise because now I can put in, you know, narrow stock and I can support it. And uh, it'll be nice and versatile. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, short video. Just a little bit of milling and grinding, not much to it, but you know, hey, it is what it is sometimes. Um, some of you guys may say, hey, Tom, why didn't you uh, put it in the oven and heat treat it? Well, I figured, one, we really don't need to for this, and number two, being it's so, th so thin that this thing would just, you know, turn into a spaghetti noodle when I pulled it out and quenched it, and then I'd really be chasing, you know, trying to get a nice match pair. So that's why I didn't do it, but, you know, A2 tool steel, you know, shouldn't go anywhere. We should be okay, and, you know, remember we are, you know, making stuff in a shaper, so it's not the most precision piece of equipment. Anyways, hey, I appreciate you guys hanging out in the shop with me, and I always I say thank you. Give me a thumbs up. Mr. Chaos says thank you also, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.